Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a technology and business consulting company that helps organizations initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. This video, along with others on our channel, should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, peer overviews, and take part in lessons we've designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community, and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks, and enjoy. The first important component of the Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise is the BI server service, which is a dynamic SQL generation engine, basically. This service relies on a metadata repository which contains data definitions and business rules from your organization. Metadata is simply data about data. It's also an abstraction of your physical data as well. The second component of Oracle Business Intelligence is the BI Presentation Service. The BI Presentation Service is a web engine that wraps data it receives from the BI server service and in XML and HTML and then sends it to your internet browser for viewing. The BI Presentation Service works with an XML repository, which is called the Presentation Catalog. The Web Catalog contains information about reports and dashboards, which we will cover in an upcoming section. The third and final component of Oracle Business Intelligence is the BI Scheduler Server Service, which is a scheduling, alerting, and delivery engine that sends multiple types of content to mail and mobile devices. Now let's talk about a little bit about the history and evolution of Oracle Business Intelligence. So, business intelligence is still a new and evolving technology when compared to other tra traditional transactional systems and technologies. In fact, it wasn't until 1989 that uh, someone named Howard Dresner, later a famous Gartner Group analyst, proposed business intelligence as an umbrella term to describe the concepts and methods to improve business decision making by using fact-based support systems. Then eight short years later, a product called Enquire Server Suite began forming the foundation of what was to become Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition that we have today. From the mid-1990s to today, Oracle Business Intelligence has held true to its original value proposition, which is integration of historical and operational data sources, enabling the delivery of centralized self-service actionable information that is complete, timely, and relevant to multiple user groups. One of the key features of Oracle Business Intelligence is its ability to hide the complexity of underlying data by presenting it to users in a way that they think about it and not the way a particular application dictates. This concept involves driving the complexity out of data as it's moved from the transactional source systems to the data warehouse, presenting the most relevant and useful information to the end users through the process of dimensional modeling. Now, a little bit about dimensional modeling for those of you on the call that are not familiar with it. Um, dimensional modeling, in summary, is a data design technique involved involving the creation of physical and logical data structures that are designed to support the delivery of large amounts of data necessary for support of business intelligence delivery systems. Dimensional modeling in and of itself is, uh, can be summarized in four steps. Uh, and these, this is widely known from Ralph Kimball's uh, publications uh, many years ago. Uh, in, in terms of the, the technique itself, and it basically involves describing the business process on which the model is built, and we'll talk a little bit about that further in the, into the presentation. Declaring the grain or aggregation of, of the data, which, which really means talking about what level of, of, um, of granularity that you're looking at in terms of the overall data content Identify the dimensions on which your, you know, your data is built. So these are the descriptive items of your data, um, things that describe your products, et cetera. And finally, identify the facts. And these are your numerical um, data items that, can be, that are going to be aggregated and measured. Oracle Business Intelligence can span multiple sources of information and connect them to its metadata model, 
providing a substantially clearer discovery channel for knowledge management through the single source of truth. Let's talk a little bit about some of the common misconceptions about OBIE. The first misconception is that OBI is, is meant just to retrieve data. What many people don't realize is OBIE can be referenced as a data source itself through ODBC. In other words, Oracle Business Intelligence can act as a physical table source for querying and extraction of data to other tools. In fact, you can query OBI directly from, a, from any SQL tool such as Toad or even Microsoft Access. The second misconception is that OBIE is mostly just an ad hoc exploration tool. Because OBI is such an easy tool to use to extract large amounts of data through tools like Answers, which we'll discuss in a few slides, it's really it's sometimes very tempting for users to dump large amount of data out of the system and then use it for analysis later on. So while the, as I said, while the tool does provide ad hoc exploration, it's really meant for guided analytics and reporting which is presenting high-level content where users are able to understand trends and analysis at a glance and then drill down for more levels of detail. The third and final misconception is mainly due to the fact that Oracle Business Intelligence Suite offers such a wide variety of product offerings. BI Publisher and Oracle EPM, which is a tool we'll discuss very soon, is often mistaken for, for being OBIE itself, when in fact they're part of, an, of the overall suite. Uh, and we'll talk about this in a future slide when we talk about um, Oracle support and uh, end dates for the product. 